Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video is a fun one because we're going to be talking about high-end makeup that's worth a splurge. So, you know on this channel we love drugstore makeup, we love affordable products. I just had the drugstore makeup tag go up earlier this week. But even with my love for affordable products, I do think there are some makeup items in my collection that are worth the investment. That's what we're going to be chatting about today, and I'm so excited to say that today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. I actually first found this brand through YouTube, and I know so many of my friends here on YouTube also love their products, and I feel like this jewelry sponsorship kind of fits this video because jewelry is a category that I think is worth the investment. And I've been super drawn to this brand because I feel like their mission is very in line with what I like to purchase. They're incredibly focused on sustainability. They're trying to go carbon neutral by 2020, which is really cool. And they also focus a lot on recycling. So when you look through their website, any product that's sterling silver, that's 100% recycled sterling silver. And when I got my package, the box says right on it that the actual cardboard was recycled and they ask you to recycle it again. I'm gonna tell you about the pieces I'm wearing today. I've got three of them on and I've actually been wearing these pieces in a lot of videos and you guys have been really liking them. So I have on two pairs of their earrings today. So in my second holes, I have these Sun Huggy Hoops. And these are my favorite. Any of you out there that have like second or third piercings in your ears or even fourth, I'm sure you know my struggle of trying to find like delicate, dainty pieces that look cute in your second or third hole, but don't look bulky and big. And I feel like these hoops are just tiny enough, but you can still notice them, but they're not as bulky and they don't look too heavy in that piercing. And then in my first holes, I picked a hoop that's just a little bit bigger. I feel like they accent each other really well. These are the Crescent Moon Huggy Hoops. So one side you've got a star, one side you've got a moon. And then the one that I've been getting the most compliments on is this flower bracelet. I've been wearing this in a lot of videos and every time I wear it, I get someone asking, what is that beautiful dainty little bracelet? And the weirdest thing that I actually really love about this is that the different clips on this actually fit my wrist. So I have pretty tiny wrists and a lot of bracelets are just so big. I feel like they slide right off my wrist. But this one, you've got the three adjustments. I like to wear it in the middle one because I like it to be a little bit loose on the wrist. But if you also have tiny wrists like I do, this is a nice size where it's not gonna like slip off your hand. I swear almost every bracelet I wear just falls off my hand. So all of their pieces start at $39 and go up from there. And I feel like for the quality that you're getting, that price is totally justified, just like these other products we're about to get into. So thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And that's gonna segue us into product number one. So I'm actually, we're gonna talk two items in here, but we're categorizing them together. So I picked these up a few months ago, mostly because everyone on YouTube raves about this formula and these little mini palettes. So these are the mini palettes from Natasha Denona. Now these are $25 a piece, which when you compare the $25 price tag to some of the other products in this video, $25 isn't as much as a lot of high-end products typically cost. But what always held me back was that I was paying $25 for this tiny palette and these pans are really small. And it's funny too, watching in YouTube videos, I feel like sometimes the size of products gets a little bit distorted or not distorted, but it's hard to get a good idea. Sometimes I see something on camera and I think, oh, that looks like a giant palette. And then I see it in person and it's not or vice versa. So with these on camera, I was like, oh, they're not that small. And then when I ordered them and they came in the mail, I'm holding them in my hand and I'm like, this is really tiny. I have pretty small hands and this is like the size of my hand, but I have just been so impressed with these. So like I said, I have two. This is the mini glam palette. This one is my favorite. I've done looks on my IGTV with both palettes if you wanna see them in action. And this one is the mini retro. I will say, I think with the mini glam, most people probably do have these colors already. But that is still why I think it's a good investment because for a good majority of people, these are like your staple colors. And for me, this is just such an easy everyday palette. But this one, I feel like the color story is a little bit more unique. Initially, I thought this was gonna be closer to the ABH Sultry palette, but now that I have it in my hand, I feel like the looks that I do with this tend to be more like soft blush pink looks that I couldn't necessarily achieve with Sultry. I just bumped my mic, by the way if you heard a boom. 
So I have two of these right now and I'm starting to get this like collection mentality where I'm like, I need to collect more of these. And I'm trying to hold myself back because how many palettes do I need? But I'm not gonna lie, I probably will pick up at least one more of these in the future because I think these are totally worth it. So I've always felt like skincare was a category worth investing in, but I feel like there are a lot of brands popping up that are offering really high quality skincare with really good ingredients at a fantastic low price. You guys know my favorite is The Ordinary. I'm obsessed with The Ordinary. I had a full video go up sharing my entire collection a couple weeks ago. I'll leave it down below. But one product that I will repurchase forever, I just, I'm obsessed with this. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. So I think I've gone through three of these. This one is empty. This is my favorite moisturizer. It's so hydrating, but even though it is a little bit of a heavier cream, it's not gonna leave a greasy film on your face. I feel like it sinks into the skin well without disappearing. There are some moisturizers that I don't think are heavy enough for my skin. I feel like I put them on and then I touch my skin and it doesn't feel hydrated. This one is like that perfect balance. It gives me that moisture. It sticks around, but it's not greasy and oily on the skin. I've had times before where I've worn necklaces that have kind of given me like a rash since I do have such sensitive skin which is why I like to invest in my jewelry, but I will take just a little dollop of this and put it on and it gets better so much faster than if I would just let nature do its thing. Love this, cannot be without it. I have other moisturizers that I like, but this is always my top favorite. There's a reason this is like such a hyped up product, it's worth it. And let me even just pause and say, Going back to what I said, I do have affordable moisturizers that I like, but when you actually break down the cost per ounce of this, it actually is valued more like a drugstore moisturizer because you get a lot of product in here. This is six ounces of product compared to a lot of moisturizers that come in like a one or two ounce package. Maybe they only cost $12, $15, but you're gonna use that up very quickly. This will last a long time. Totally worth it. I have so many affordable foundations that I like. I think you can find really great foundations at the drugstore, and you heard me mention many of them in my drugstore tag that went up recently, but one foundation, I have a couple, but this is my top. This is a foundation that I think is completely worth the splurge. I received this in PR, but once I use it up, I will repurchase it. This comes from Urban Decay. This is their Stay Naked Foundation. So this is their new formulation that came out Mm, sometime last year. I wear 30NN, which is a really great shade match for me. You guys, I have found foundations that I think are similar to this, but nothing makes my skin look as good as this does. I love the texture of this. It's a bit thinner, and I find that sometimes when foundations are a little bit more on the thin side, they just look a little more natural over the skin because you can spread them out really easily, and this lasts forever. I feel like sometimes there are long wearing foundations that like, yeah, they'll last for a long time, but at the end of the day, you're looking a little cakey. If you look up close, it's not the best look. This is one that I will put on in the morning. I will have the longest day and I will come home 14, 16 hours later and I will look in the mirror and think I just put my foundation on an hour ago. It's amazing. Now this does lean matte, so if you are dry, I think you would probably prefer to pair it with a hydrating primer but seriously you guys this is my new holy grail i say new it's been my favorite for a while now but you guys know this replaced my old number one foundation which was peach perfect and with that we've got to talk about my favorite powder i have never been a person that has cared that much about powder if i'm being honest I have always been so indifferent about face powder. I'm like, a face powder is a face powder. The change maker from Bite Beauty was a change maker for me. This completely changed my mind. How many times am I gonna say change? This is such a lightweight powder. It barely looks like anything on the skin. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you want to look amazing for 16 hours, combine these two. When I pair these, my skin has never looked better than the times that I have worn these two products together. They were made for each other because like I said, this can be a little bit more matte. So I don't necessarily like to go in with a heavy setting powder like, I don't know, Urban Decay brush off powder, something like that I think would be too much for this. 
something very soft and light like this. It's so perfecting on your skin, guys. You look like you have on a filter. Here's the thing, if you have extremely oily skin, this is probably not gonna lock your product in as much as you want. You might prefer something a little bit more uh, heavy duty. For just looking filtered and perfected, this is, a, this is amazing. And finally, brushes, but specifically the brand Sigma. So I am a Sigma affiliate, so I am a little bit biased. I will throw that out there, but I still think that brushes are a category that is definitely worth investing in. And I do have some affordable brushes that I really do love, but the difference is with those, after a few years, after enough washes, the barrel will start to get a little bit loose. I'll start losing some bristles. Also, one thing I like about Sigma brushes in particular, they have such a wide range of shapes that I can't always find in more affordable brushes. I feel like sometimes with affordable brushes, you get your standard shapes. You know, you get a domed foundation brush, you get a blush brush, you get a crease brush, but some of these unique shapes, like this right here, this is one of my favorite Sigma brushes. Every time I use this in a video, I get questions about it. This is the Spotlight Diffuser. I love dusting on powder with this. And I feel like finding brushes in some of these more unique shapes is a little bit harder at the drugstore. So I always think these are worth the splurge. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.